to many people in this world of skyscrapers and man walking on the moon. The word obia is mere superstitious nonsense. Or so they may think. But to a man of my kind, I know it exists. You see, the line that separates the imagination from reality is very thin. Sometimes we see, and we hear, and we feel, and we smell things that are extraordinary, or appear extraordinary to us. I am sure you have experienced things yourself. Things that appear or, or seem to be unusual to you. Between midnight and dawn, on your way home after a late night movie, or a party. Let me introduce myself. My name is John Scrooge, a Trinidadian by birth. I am 31 years old and I'm from Port of Spain. Now, you may ask yourself that how it is a young man like myself came into contact with, with Obia. As a young boy, my grandmother would relate ghost stories to me about, about larger bless and sequoia and phantoms and dwens and many others. She would tell me that these tales came from African slaves themselves and many believed it to be true. But when I reached my late teens, I remember those stories. So, so I began my research, questioning other old folks in Port of Spain. And they would tell me of other African tales and African religions that use storytelling in their practices. My uncle's neighbor, Mari, was part of a religion that was heavily influenced by African spirituality and storytelling. So I asked if she would allow me to attend some of her stories. Mary, what language is she speaking? But Mary, I just... I'm inviting you to observe and be a part. Not question everything. A 
few months later, I, I bought a few books and I rented a little shop close to Maruga Cemetery up on the western end of Trinity Hills in Victoria County. I read that Maruga was home to Obia in Trinidad. I was sure to find out some more information there. There, there were a few houses in the area and, and, and a little stream about a quarter mile from where I was staying. The place was perfect for research. And here, I was reading one of my many books. I was finishing up a chapter on the origin of witch doctors. When I heard a... but it's all right. Come on, Rita. Just sting you. Uh, um, well, Miss Vina, there, there was a man. He, 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 he came dragging a... a, a he hit me, Miss Vina. Look, <laughs> look, 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 look. Miss Vina, you did see. And he did put a spell on you. And you know what they say? A spell from the devil will kill you. No, no, oh, please, Miss Vina. What?
long I left to find this woman where I maybe could be cured of this spell. While we walked the streets, some people stared at me in amazement and, and some whispered and, and, and giggled to each other. arrived at our destination. Scrooge! You can't smoke that cocaine in here! Sorry, sorry. Hmm. Cocaine? Fina, how are you keeping any bygone? Yes, girl! Two full ones! <clears throat>
box, please. Something wrong, mister? Uh, no, 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 not at all. Just, just the, um, just, just the, 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 the box, the, the, no, the, the box. Uh, of matches? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, have a, have a seat. Have a seat. Uh, my name is Scrooge, John Scrooge. Uh, are you alone? Well, I'll get the box of matches. Would you like to share some of my soup with me? It's, it's almost finished. Why not? I'm hungry, but you alone live in here? Uh, yes. Aren't you afraid of traveling alone in the forest? No. Since I was a little girl, I used to hide with Papa, but we stopped a few years now. Oh. <laughs> but, but aren't you afraid of, of snakes and, and other creatures of the forest? No. As a matter of fact, I love snakes. They're my spirit animal. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. If I see a snake now, I wouldn't run. I would hold it, and it wouldn't do me a thing. A mackerel, a coral, a map of peace. You dog me, Mr. Scrooge. Um, well, well, no, I, I was just doing some research on the, um, and, and when you said spirit animal, I, I became intrigued. So, so you like snakes? Like them? <laughs> I think you're so bullying. For a second. So I thought you changed your mind about the soup. Something tells me you're a weird man, Mr. Scrooge, and that you don't trust me. Why would you say that? And, 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 and please don't call me mister. It, it makes me feel kind of old. All right, John. You think I'm working with the devil because of all the foolishness your book's telling you? Um, well, you see, this is well, all I was born with a veil over my eyes and, well, my mother, she died in childbirth. And while growing up, I believed I had a gift. Well, you see, I think I have a sixth sense. Anya, what are you talking about? If you want me to go, I will go. Wait, wait. I, I, I didn't mean to offend you. And, and if I did, I'm, I'm sorry. But, but many theories have proved that that these extrasensory perceptions or ESP to be wrong because it, it lacks an evidence base. John, I know what I'm saying. It's almost like I get a bad feeling and then something bad happens. Where are you from? Lake Hotel, Tobago. And, and, and this gift you said you were born with and, and these extrasensory perceptions, how did you become so conscious of it? Well, Right before I stopped hiking, silence is golden, and speech is silver, and a still tongue keeps a wise head. Why are you smiling, John? It's nothing, just something I remember as a little boy. So how far are you hiking to? To the river. 
And do you sleep in the bush? Yes. Well, well, Anya, if, if, if you want to, you can stay here. If you what? Want. If you wish, you can stay here. Stay? Well, it is getting late. As long as it's not inconvenient. No, 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 not at all, not at all. Look, you can sleep on the bunk, and I will stay on the chair. That isn't necessary. No, but, but, but please, you're my guest. We chatted for a while about her life in Tobago. And every time I touched on the subject of spirituality and the supernatural, she kept changing the topic. Now, something told me that Anya knew something about this, and I, I, I wondered why she did not want to edify me. But anyway, I decided to stay clear of the subject before she became annoyed. But I remember telling her what a beautiful girl she is. And then, and then I dropped off to sleep. Dear John, I'm sorry I had to leave this way without telling you myself. But something came up and I had to leave. I'll see you. Signed, Anna. After reading the note, I, I went to the river to find her, but, but I didn't. So I took a bath and headed for the village market, which was three miles away. No. The exercise was good. As I walked along, thoughts of Anya amused my mind. But the market was small compared to the one off Beatham Highway, but full of life with people there. Sorry to hear that, Mrs. Farley. You never tell me someone dies in the Mother 
Garuba, with all due respect. I don't see my curiosity harming anyone. And I'm just doing some research. Thanks, Dina. Goodbye, John. Goodbye. Well, I quickly made my way out of the market and back to the shop. The encounter between Mother Garuba and Mrs. Farley puzzled me. How did they even know each other? Anyway. Upon entering the shop, I...
Whiskey and water. <laughs> Get a bottle of whiskey with glasses, ice and water. So how you keep them well? What's the update? Well, not bad. Still trying to get rid of problem for you. Sir, this screws man be coming on you, sir. And you know what else be coming on you, sir, too? What's that? Just a minute, boy. Oh, 
Let me get rid of these fools. Let me drink to that. Even though, even though a part of me was heavily questioning if all this study was worth it. And after all that I've been through, I, I still wanted to. I needed to continue my research. Anyway, that night. something to drink. Whiskey and water. <laughs> so, so who has been telling you about my research? Who? I remember, Trinidad is a small island, and this is a small village, so talk spreads about you. <laughs> but I, I, I greatly appreciate it if you could share some information with me. Ah. Well, you ever hear about the larger bless? Ah, oh, yes, of course, the, the devil woman. <laughs> I know one. But that is a myth. 
Hey, I tell you, I know one. Oh, well, all right, well, show me. Where can I find her? Well, you have money. How much? 2,500. 2,500? Yes, I just bought it tonight. Wait, 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 look, look. All I have is, is, is money for food and, and stuff for the next two months, but I can get a little work in the market enough. and... I'll take it. <laughs> All right, but show me. Where could I find her? <clears throat> it. Oh, uh, she outside. I just make sure it left. Barry, you must take me for a fool. Come and see. To many people in this world of skyscrapers and man walking on the moon, the word obia is mere superstitious nonsense. Or so they may think. But to a man of my kind, I know it exists.
once more for Sour North Secondary, the Curious Cat. Thank you, Trinidad and Tobago. Right now, we will have the Viva Voce. So if there are any questions, I know there are many, especially from the students. Um, and along with the other persons we have here in the audience, we will take those questions right now. I love theater. And one thing that stood out the most was the music. something that resonates with us because we tell stories through music, through Calypso, our former storytelling, our initial former storytelling. 